If you got a trip coming up, stop right there. Do not go and buy anything. I'm sure if you look in your closet, you have all the things that you need. So we're gonna talk through today what you can do to pack efficiently, easily, and light for this upcoming trip that you have coming up. Hi guys, my name's Tiffany. If it's your first time here, I talk about all things lifestyle, fashion, beauty, home, wellness, all the things. Today we're talking all things fashion and travel. I have a trip coming up and I honestly don't have time to go shopping. I don't want to go shopping. I feel like I've curated my wardrobe in a way that I should have all the things that I need. So I'm challenging myself to look in my closet and pull some pieces that are still going to be stylish, that are timeless, and I'll still be able to serve some looks without spending any money, okay? So I'm going to Jamaica at the end of the week. I'm going for only three nights, so three nights, four days. I know that I've curated my closet in a way where I can pick and choose things in my closet and I know it'll work. And I have done some shopping earlier this year, so I feel like I'll be able to shop my closet and pull some looks together that I would consider classic vacation essentials that are stylish, that are timeless, and I'm still gonna look good, but I'm not gonna spend any money. Because what I think a lot of us tend to do whenever there's vacation, I'm speaking to the people who shop intentionally here and there. Like if you don't shop at all throughout the year, and you have nothing in your wardrobe, then you might need to go out and buy some clothes. But if you're someone like me that periodically will make intentional purchases in investment pieces, I know for a fact that I have items in my closet that I can pull. So I'm just gonna go through my thought process and how I pulled all of these pieces together, walk you through the outfits that I'm going to rock each day and how it's going to avoid me overpacking. So like I mentioned, I'm going for three nights. So that's three full days. So I'm going all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and coming back on Monday. So that's three nights, four days. So I know we're going out for three nights. So I know I have to think through three different outfit ideas for the evening. I know I want to be comfortable. I usually love wearing dresses and jumpsuits for vacation, for tropical vacations. So what I did was I went to my closet and I pulled dresses that I haven't worn yet, that I was saving for a special occasion, or maybe I've worn before, but I want to give it some more life. So three of the evening outfits I decided to pull was this dress, very colorful. I got this from ASOS. It's a size two. I believe it's a size two. Yep, it's a size two. And I figured this would be fun and colorful for Jamaica. It's a vibrant color. I usually don't wear vibrant colors. That's the reason why I purchased this because it has two of the colors that typically look good on me, orange and green. And I love how it had purple. All the colors are complementary, so I felt like this would work. I'm planning on belting this with a brown belt. I have to find my brown belt. I have no idea where it is but I'm, I plan on belting this with a brown belt. I don't need to, but it does look better being belted. So so this is for one night. I'm probably gonna just wear this with some sandals. I won't be doing any heels. Another look for the evening is this beautiful jumpsuit. It's backless, it's a halter. And I wore this a year ago for a wedding. It was the re for a rehearsal dinner for a wedding and I never wore it again. I just love it because it's giving, this is something I would wear on vacation. I love the neutral sand color of the jumpsuit. So I'm definitely wearing this for one evening and I'm gonna probably wear these with heels, my kitten heels. And I'll show you guys the kitten heels that I'm gonna wear. So that's two nights so far for night three. And I'm not gonna wear this in any particular order. It's depending on the vibes that I'm feeling that night. So my third idea was the skirt that I got from H&M. It's a bit roomy around the waist, but it fits my waist perfectly. And I'm just gonna rock this with a black off the shoulder crop top. Let me show you what the crop top looks like. So this skirt and this crop top. It's literally just a one shoulder crop top. It pairs perfectly. So that's my third outfit for the night. That's the first step. You start off with your evening wear what you're gonna wear at night for dinners. So now I have my three evening outfits. A good rule of thumb, if you know, you know you always bring an, a just-in-case outfit because you never know what could happen. So I'm going to bring two because I'm gonna have space, okay? I'm telling you guys not to overpack, but always bring one extra just-in-case evening outfit because you never know. I'm bringing this dress, H&M. I'm gonna bring this red dress. If I'm feeling like I just wanna jump in something really quickly, 
I can do that. And I can also wear this at, in the daytime. So this is gonna double as a day and nighttime option. So that's why I'm also bringing this. Now let's get into the daytime outfits. So we all so we already talked about this dress. This can be a daytime outfit. If I'm getting up and wanting to go to get breakfast, if we're going to get lunch, this is gr great for the daytime. Another great daytime outfit is this jumpsuit that I have. I got this from Marshalls. It fits amazing. I love the cream color and it's very comfortable. It's perfect as a beach cover-up as well. So I just want things that are flowy and comfortable, nothing that feels restricting. And I feel like this really does embody that and it's perfect for vacation. I wore this, I think it was two years ago when I went to Philadelphia for, we went to Philly for a Labor Day weekend and I wore this out there. So I've worn this once. That's the reason why we should shop our closet because we have items in our closet that we've worn maybe only once so why not take it out and give it life in a new location so these are my two day outfits that can also possibly depending on the vibes and what's going on can double for nighttime outfits as well now button-ups these can serve as beach cover-ups or they can serve as a daytime outfit as well so i'm bringing one two three button downs as my beach cover-ups i'm not planning on bringing anything too fancy it's a three-day trip i don't need to bring a whole bunch of different things bringing a white button up a black button up and this pinstripe button up the reason why button ups are amazing is you can wear it as a beach cover-up you can wear these with shorts and depending on the vibes you can wear it as daytime outfits you can wear it as a nighttime outfit as well with some heels with some sandals you can wear you can wear these in the evening and just accessorize and do some really cool makeup and you're gonna look amazing. And if you're savvy, you can style your button down in unique ways as well. So button ups, button downs are, I'm always bringing them, I'm always bringing these. And over time you replace them, but button downs are always going to be a staple for me when it comes to beach and tropical vacations. This button down is from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This black one is from ASOS and this is from ASOS as well. I'm just bringing a regular t-shirt because you never know if we do an excursion or whatever. I'm bringing another backless shirt just in case. You always need t-shirts. So I'm bringing a backless one and or just a regular t-shirt. I've already shown you guys this piece that I'm wearing with my white skirt. This shirt is from H&M. This shirt is from ASOS, the backless shirt. And then this is also from ASOS. And then denim shorts are always a must you always have to have a pair of denim shorts these are from nasty gal tried and true i think these were some jeans that i had and i cut them and they've been riding with me for a minute and that is it guys when you're on vacation you want to feel like you still have options and you're not just limited to a certain subset of items so i think it's important to bring items that you'll be able to have versatility with because then you're going to feel like you have some level of freedom you know what i mean you want to feel comfortable when you're on vacation and feel like you at least for me i want to make sure i have my looks together so now there's always going to be bonus items that i bring right I'm gonna bring a linen pant. I got this from H&M years ago. I'm bringing this linen pant because I can also wear this as a beach cover-up. Depending on the vibes, I can wear it for dinner, I can wear it for breakfast, I can wear it whenever. I'm bringing this because I'm gonna have space since I'm packing very light anyways. And then I'm also gonna bring a bonus evening outfit which is this backless dress. It's beautiful, it's sexy. This will be the sexiest thing that I have in my suitcase. You can make everything sexy, but this is giving sexy, just in terms of the cutouts. This won't take up any space in my suitcase, so I don't feel guilty about bringing this. That is clothes. When it comes to shoes, I'm keeping it very simple. I'm just bringing these brown sandals with these gold, it's like gold tongs. I'm bringing these sandals that I got from a little boutique. Some sparkly sandals, very simple. Wear this in the evening. I could also wear those brown ones in the evening. The only heels that I'm gonna bring are these Jimmy Choo's kitten heels. Very sexy, very simple, very comfortable. I'm probably only gonna wear this with the jumpsuit. 
the brown like sand jumpsuit and I can even wear these with the white skirt and the black top so that's also an option but these are very these are very comfortable light and versatile and those are the th only three shoes that I'm bringing I'm not bringing anything else now when it comes to accessories right with accessories you are going to be able to have as much fun as possible and you're going to bring these outfits to life so for hats here is one of my sun hats it's a cute little it's a cute sun hat with some smiley faces on it i got this from asos i have this visor that i got from asos as well i'm an i'm an asos girl i would say like 80 percent of my wardrobe is from asos because they have amazing brands and I just love them. And I feel like I know my size perfectly with them. So yeah, those are two hats that I'm bringing. Well, no, I have another hat. I have this Jack Moose hat. It's the bucket hat that I, you guys have probably seen this. It's so cute. I'm definitely gonna rock this. And with my short hair, it really, I tried it on yesterday and it looks really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna bring this Jack Moose hat have a hat for each day to feel like I'm switching things up and that's the power of accessories now when it comes to bags I'll show you guys the bags that I'm bringing I got this from China <laughs> I, I just found a I found a wholesale website that was selling items from China this is a really cute beach bag um, and I make sure I put like an insert inside holding all of my stuff because everything will fall out if you don't but this is cute for I, I've I've worn this for dinner and I've worn it to the beach I'll wear this whenever so this is for me serves as a universal bag I don't care JWP this is going to be an evening bag just a standard little black shoulder bag <clears throat> I love this I love this bag so this will be a good evening bag then yeah that's really it this is going to be my main evening bag and then if I want to switch it up I'll just wear that crochet one and then for a beach bag this is going to be my this is probably going to be the beach bag that I really bring because I'm going to be packing like stuff for my daughter her pull-ups wipes and then my stuff as well sunscreen all the things snacks so I think I'm probably going to really wear this to the beach the most because I'll have more room I'm all about fashion and being practical and then I have this cute scarf that I got from The Real Real. I could wear this on my head as a scarf to the beach one day, which I'm probably gonna do. Tie it on my beach bag as well. I'm gonna use this and show you guys how I style it, but that's the power of accessories. You can just get accessories and do the most. Sunnies, I'm gonna show you my sunglasses that I'm wearing. I have these Bottegas that I'm definitely bringing. Let's see how it looks. I love this. I got this. Well, my husband got this for me when we went to LA. And yeah, I love it. I got a pair of Mew Mews. And these are really cute too. So I'm going to be rocking these. Honestly, I'm going to start investing in some Mew Mew gear because I feel like their vibe resonates with me. Just like their accessories are A1. Then lastly, I'm bringing these. These, I can't wait to wear. So quick story, two or three years ago, I was gonna launch an eyewear brand and I brought like 30 samples of eyewear from a manufacturer and I, I, still, I just wear them to see how I like them. Who knows if I'll do it in the future, but these are one of the samples that I bought and got designed. I love them and I'm just gonna bring them to Jamaica and rock them. For my accessories, this is kind of messy, but this is my traveling bag. Honestly, it's really just all my rings, my necklaces, my bracelets, everything. I have to make it neater and organize it, but just bring all your jewelry. This I'm not going to skimp on because I feel like accessories, you can have so much fun with it. And I like to layer on. And especially when you have outfits that are a bit more muted or demure, I feel like you need to play up with your accessories to really to really bring it to life that's the big secret to fashion you have to accessorize if you don't accessorize your outfit is gonna look bland so I'm just gonna bring all my jewelry so I can have fun so let's talk swimwear once again these are all things that I've pulled from my closet I have not bought anything these are all things that I've already owned 
and I didn't have to buy a single thing. And I feel confident going to Jamaica and feeling like I'm still going to be serving looks. I'm still going to look really good. And I'm not going to feel like, dang, like I wish I had gone shopping because I, I feel like I'm going to feel stylish because I took the time to piece my looks together. For swimwear, this is a two-piece. I wore it for my 32nd birthday and I never wore it again, so I'm bringing it. This is a white bathing suit. I think I've worn this three times. I'm bringing it just in case. This is a sexy one-piece. I've worn this maybe three times. I'm bringing it. This is another bathing suit that I wore for my 32nd birthday. I'm bringing it. I've worn it once. This is a cover-up that I'm going to bring because it's very light. I've worn it once. I wore it as an evening dress, actually, and I want to wear it as a cover-up in Jamaica, so I'm going to bring it. And I think that is it, guys. I hope you found this helpful. This video feels like it was kind of all over the place. I hope you were following along. I'm going to just close this off by saying know how many days you're staying, have evening outfits and have daytime outfits according to the number of days that you're staying. So one per day, one evening outfit per day, one daytime outfit per day. And always bring button ups because you can use these in various different ways for day and night. Bring minimal amounts of shoes because honestly, you're not going to be changing your shoes like that if you're only there for three days. And yeah, bring as many accessories as possible because you'll have more flexibility bringing more accessories because you're paring down on the number of clothing items that you're bringing. So that's why I have the option to bring way more hats, jewelry, eyewear, things like that. I hope you found this helpful. If you're going on vacation, I hope this encourages you to just go into your closet, find things that you have, and just avoid going to shop. Because if you're a fashion girl like me, I'm sure you've been curating your closet in a way that's intentional. And you're buying pieces to fill gaps. I'm sure if you go into your closet, you'll be able to pull everything that you need. And if you buy things here and there, I'm sure you have something in your closet that you can pull out and bring on your trip. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, share it with a friend. I hope you have fun on vacation and I'll talk to you guys next time.